Oh, hi, you must be RJ. I understand that you want to learn more about personal air vehicles, or we call them hay for short. Yes. Our class assignment is to try to determine what transportation will look like in 100 years. Now, from what I know from the PAVE, it sounds like a project of the future. Is it actually a flying car? The basic idea behind PAVE is not so much to make a flying car, but to make an air transportation system with many of the same characteristics that we really like about cars. So how will PAVE work? First, we need an airspace system that works a lot more like our highway system, with small airplanes that work a lot more like our cars. How do you build highways in the sky? There are already 5,000 airports, and many of them are hardly used. The Small Aircraft Transportation System, or SAS for short, is working on low-cost electronics in order to give even the smallest of these airports all-weather capability. These small airports could then be safely used by anyone who'd like to fly instead of drive. Sounds great. Uh, what would a personal air vehicle look like? Well, we have several concepts that range from mild to wild. On the mild side, it looks a lot like small airplanes of today, but with some big differences. For example, there will be a ducted fan instead of a propeller and engine muffling. Both will dramatically help to reduce noise. Now I know airplanes are really expensive. Will I be able to buy my own PAVE? It will be more expensive than a car, but less than an airplane, and that's because it will use a lot of car parts and have a streamlined design. Aren't planes difficult to fly? Right now, we have robotic airplanes that do most of their flying without help, but they're not that reliable. So what's the wild pave going to look like? Well, it's called our gridlock commuter, and it looks like a great big duct that carries one or two people. It doesn't go very far or very fast, but it only needs the space of a baseball field to take off on land, and the best part is that you can drive it on local streets. Why does it need to drive on the streets? To reduce what we call intermodal delay. Intermodal delay? Yes, intermodal delay is the time we spend going from one mode of transportation to the other. For example, today we drive to the airport, park, walk to the airplane, fly, and then reverse the process. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just have your airplane take you the whole way? It sure would, but of course we couldn't fit an airplane in our garage. No, but you could live in a community that centers around a small airport, and all of the houses would have a hangar as well as a garage. Is that what transportation is going to look like in 100 years? Actually, they already exist. There are at least six air parks here in Virginia now, and there are many more across the United States. Wow, that's awesome. Are there any other benefits to PAVE? Yes, PAVE makes it possible to have more choices about where to live, work, or go to school. Studies have shown that most people are unwilling to spend more than a little over an hour commuting. Before cars, you can only go a couple of kilometers in an hour. But with modern cars, you can go 40 or 50 kilometers in about the same time in heavy traffic. We're learning a lot about traffic. Dr. D and a couple other triage detectives are still stuck on the highway. With a PAVE, that problem would be eliminated for the most part. You would also be traveling at faster speeds than driving, and there'd be a reduction of intermodal delay. All these things would allow you to live 95 or more kilometers away from work, which would make it possible for you to enjoy both an urban and a rural lifestyle. That's awesome. That means I could live near my grandma in the country and still work in the city. That sounds great. How soon will pay be available? We're hoping to have a full-size flying demonstrator by 2010. After that, it could be as little as two years for a manufacturer to put them in showrooms right next to old-fashioned cars. So maybe by 2012. 2012? That's a lot less than 100 years. Leave it to NASA beyond the cutting edge. Thanks, Mr. Hahn. You're welcome, and good luck. And don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. All right, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>